can you decipher the following message? The answer is, help. Huh? How did you decode that? Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Wow! How do you code that? Today, we're writing an algorithm that encodes and decodes text, using a modified version of the Baconian cipher. Okay, and what exactly is the Baconian cipher? The Baconian cipher, named after Francis Bacon, founder of the scientific method, is a substitution cipher in which each letter is replaced by a sequence of five characters. In the original cipher, each letter is assigned to a string of five binary digits. These were sequences of A's and B's. To encipher the message, strike now, we replace each letter with its five-letter binary equivalent. The plain text message, or the mask, contains the enciphered text hidden in plain sight. In the modified version of the Baconian cipher that we'll be using today, capital letters are substituted where the Baconian cipher had a B, and lowercase letters where the Baconian cipher had an A. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. If you are new to this channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share this video with your friends, and comment below. The rules of the challenge are as follows. Our method must take one or two arguments. The first argument is the Baconian cipher text or a plain text message to be enciphered. The next argument is a background text, in which the message is to be hidden. If only one argument is given, our method should return the deciphered message, in lower case, with spaces and full stops as encoded. If a second argument is given, our method should encipher the first argument into the mask, and return the resulting ciphered text. When enciphering, our method should encipher full stops and spaces, along with the words. Disregard the rest. The ciphered text itself should retain all the punctuation and spaces of the original mask. When deciphering, our method should remove spaces and punctuation, then cleave the message into chunks of lengths of 5, leaving out the remainder. Okay. Are you ready for the solution? No, I'm not ready. Can you please explain how you decoded knowledge itself as power, to help? Sure. The first step when deciphering text, is to remove all spaces and punctuation. Next, cleave the message into chunks of lengths of 5. Now, replace each chunk of 5 letters with our binary equivalent. And we end up with, help. Awesome, I got it. Now, how do you code that? Today's challenge has a complexity level of, expert. It uses a hash map and a string builder. First. We define a string variable, named, alpha, that contains the letters of the English alphabet, with a period and a space at the end. Next, we define a string array, named, encoding, that contains the binary digits that correspond to each letter of the English alphabet, including a period and a space. Next, we define a primitive integer variable, named, arg, to track the number of arguments passed to our method, and initialize it to zero. Next, we define two strings name, message, and, mask, which will contain the values of the incoming parameters, and initialize them to null. Next, we walk through each of the incoming arguments. If this is the first argument, it gets stored in the message variable. Otherwise, the value is stored in the mask variable. The arg variable is incremented for each argument in the incoming parameter list. Next, we evaluate whether the mask variable is null, indicating we've received a string that requires deciphering. If it is, we instantiate a hash map, named, from Baconian. Next, we walk through each character in the letters of the English alphabet, and assign it to a character variable named, C. Next, using the index position of the character, C, we grab the corresponding binary digits from the encoding array, and assign it to a string variable named, M. Next, we put the binary digits, M, in our hash map as the key, and the corresponding character, C, as the value. Once we've completed processing each character in the English alphabet, we call the decipher method, passing it our ciphered string and our hash map, returning the results to the caller. Inside the decipher method, first, all punctuation and spaces are removed from the incoming string. Next, we instantiate a string builder and assign it to a variable, named, SB. 
Next, for every five characters in the incoming string, each chunk is assigned to a string variable, named, word. We then instantiate another string builder, and assign it to a variable, named, msb. Next, we determine for each character in the word variable, whether it's an uppercase. If so, a u is appended to our msb string builder, otherwise, an l gets appended. Once all characters in the word have been evaluated, we pull the corresponding character from our hash map, having a key that matches the string value of the msb string builder, and append it to the sb string builder. Once all chunks of characters from the incoming string have been processed, the sb string builder is converted to a string, and returned to the calling method. When the mask variable is not null, indicating we've received a string, and a mask that requires enciphering, we instantiate a hash map, and assign it to a variable, named, to Baconian. Next, we walk through each character in the letters of the English alphabet, and assign it to a character variable named, C. Next, using the index position of the character, C, we grab the corresponding binary digits from the encoding array, and assign it to a string variable named, M. Next, we put the binary digits, M, in our hash map as the value, and the corresponding character, C, as the key. Once we've completed processing each character in the English alphabet, we call the encipher method, passing it our mask, the string to be enciphered, and our hash map, returning the results to the caller. Inside the encipher method, first, we instantiate a string builder and assign it to a variable, named, sb. Next, all tick symbols in the message are replaced with a blank space. Next, three primitive integers are defined and initialized to zero. Next, a string variable, named, Baconian is initialized to null. Next, a Boolean variable, named, skipped is initialized to false. Finally, a string variable, named, special chars, is defined and initialized with all special characters. Next, we walk through each character in the mask and assign it to a character variable, named, b. Next, if this is the fifth letter being processed, and it's not being skipped, we initialize a character variable, named, j, to a space. Next, if the value of message index is less or equal to the total length of our cipher text, the character within the cipher text string, at the indexed value of message index, is assigned to j, the message index variable is incremented by 1, and the index variable is set to 0. Lastly, the 5 character binary digit matching the character, j, is pulled from our hash map and assigned to the variable, Baconian. When the value of message index is greater than the length of our cipher text, indicating there aren't enough characters left in the string to form a 5 character chunk, we set the value of Baconian to null. Next, if the character, b, is a space, a special character, or the value of Baconian is null, indicating we didn't find a match in the hash map, we append the character, b, to our string builder, and set the skipped flag to true, otherwise, we set the skipped flag to false. Next, if the character within the five character binary value at the indexed value of index is an uppercase, we append an uppercase version of character, b, to our string builder, otherwise, a lowercase version of character, b, is appended to the string builder. Next, both index and letter are incremented by one. Once all characters in the mask have been evaluated, the string builder is converted to a string, and returned to the calling method. Wow, that was awesome. We hope you found this video helpful. If so, please comment below. If not, well, comment below, nicely. We hope to see you in the next episode of Wow! How'd you code that?